Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring bosses in New Game Plus with the fastest meta weapon of this game. A few months ago I made a video showcasing the power of the Iron Balls in a build that I named the Blight Tyson, which was basically an insanely broken build that I truly believe it was the most effective weapon to melt bosses in seconds. And even though the video was successful and I appreciate that guys, thank you, the comment section was full of people claiming that I was wrong, that the best weapon is not the Iron Ball, that I should not be using the Iron Balls when I could be using the star fist and I was like okay I will give it a try and I can't believe how wrong I was and seriously I thought the iron balls had a higher AR than the star fist but no the star fist is a better weapon in every aspect it has a better base damage with the same moveset it has innate blade build up and it looks a little bit better with all those spikes it looks like a pair of unshaped balls I know what you might be thinking if the weapon has innate blade build up will the need be more effective to use it in occult affinity as a bleed weapon and the answer is no if you do that you will condition the weapon to rely on bleed procs reducing it base damage and capping its max performance. The best way to play this weapon is in a higher strength build with a lot of endurance to never stop attacking. This way you will destroy the majority of bosses a lot faster and you will not even need the bleed procs. You can find the star fist on the left side of the Coliseum near to the west capital rampart side of race in Lindel Royal Capital. Despite of being such a small weapon, the DPS of the star fist is even better than the most elaborated and broken bleed setups. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we will be the major boss of the game without taking a single hit. We are going to be using the star fist on plus 25 with the crack blade dash of war on the heavy affinity and we need any seal we have available to cast our main buffs if you want you can use the commander's standard as your aura buff it doesn't last as long as golden bow but it's a little bit more powerful you can use any armor set you want but if you like my look i'm using the rodent dwelling set with the black wolf mask the most effective talismans we can choose for this build are the ritual sword talisman the axe talisman the millicent's prosthesis and the rodent wings or insignia if you are missing one of these talismans the claw and dagger talisman are great alternatives for this setup. In our flask of wondrous physic, the spike crack tear and the thorny crack tear will be extremely powerful. However, the stone bar crack tear is a great option as well. Feel free to use the one that fits better with your playstyle. With this build, we are dealing only physical damage. Therefore, the best body buff will be the blood ball aromatic. But if you don't want to craft it, feel free to use Howl of Shabriri. In order to get the max performance of this build, we need 50 on vigor and endurance. We must level up strength to 99 and faith to 33. Golden Bow and Howl of Shabriri are going to be our main boss. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Oh, nice one. Are you coming? Oh, bad mistake, buddy. Boom. 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 Ooh. It is so fast, guys. How such a small weapon can be so fast, bro? We have a lot of endurance, baby. That's what I like to see. Hey there, homie. You're not going anywhere, but boy. You are mine. You are mine. Let's go. <laughs> He's mine. Oh, no way, dude. You have to be kidding me, bro. Nice. Thank you. Come on, come on. Let's go. <laughs> nice, baby. You have to get the right timing, guys, because otherwise the hits will not hit anything. Will we get it in the first try? Let's find out. Come on. No way, that's possible. That doesn't make sense at all. Oh! Oh! What the hell is even that, bro? <laughs> this is it, giant. This is it, giant. Your time has come. Has come, I mean. Come on. Oh, nice. That one is really good, buddy. Take this one. Are you ready for the big show? Take this one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> He got destroyed, baby. Come on. Come on. Here. Come on. No way. No way. Boom. Let's go. <laughs> Quickly. One. Whoa, one. <laughs> Only one, bro. That's insane. Come on, buddy. What are you waiting for? Are you scared? Oh, you gotta be scared. One is... What? 
Are you prepared, buddy? You're not ready for anything. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I, I was wishing that on my head, but I didn't think it was possible, bro. <laughs> oh, Malini, it's time. Nice. Let's go, boys! <laughs> Finally, baby, we did it. Okay, guys, this is the buff routine. First of all, you use Golden Vow. Then a Pickle Turtle Leg is completely optional. Then you use Crack Blade. Then use your Physic Flask. And then you have to decide if you use Hall of Shabriri or Blood Bowl Aromatic. I will use Blood Bowl Aromatic this time, so let's go. So let's begin with the skinny one. Nice, that's a lot of damage, that's what I'm talking about. One, two, and three. And that should be it. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Nice. Nice guys, let's go! <laughs> I don't know why it took me a few tries. The first phase is complicated because of the range of the weapon, man. Come on guys, tell me it's gonna work, please. Tell me it's gonna work, man. Don't be a bad boy, please. Please. Oh, let's go! Come on, man. Bad luck for you, homie. What? What? <laughs> Come on. Boom, baby. Probably the fastest Elden Beast skill. Yeah. Boom. 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 Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> there are multiple ways to get into the DLC so easy, guys. I've shown you at least 30, bro. <laughs> Come on, tail attack. I know you wanna do it, bro. Tail attack. Let's go, baby. Oh, that one felt like it was gonna hit. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> he was running away, bro. He's really close already. Nice. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, buddy. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Nice! I decided to take the risk, baby. <laughs> take that one. That's plusy, guys. 
It was a terrible boss fight, dude. I played so bad. 